Tragedy struck on September 27, 1854, when the SS Arctic sank about 50 miles off the coast of Newfoundland. The tragedy was caused by a collision with another, smaller ship, the SS Vesta. It took the Arctic four hours to fully sink after the hit. During those four hours, there was panic among the passengers and crew as folks struggled for access to lifeboats and attempted to make rafts from debris. The ship was one of the Collins line. Of the estimated 400 souls on board, only 88 survived, most of whom were crew members. None of the women or children survived. This disaster is often marked by the fact that the crew prioritized saving their own lives over the lives of the passengers. A media frenzy spiraled after the event, demonizing the crew, newspapers calling out the actions of those on board. This stunning monument in Brooklyn's Greenwood Cemetery is home to the Brown family plot, which is the final resting place of many of the members of the Brown family, but also members of the Brown family that lost their lives during the sinking of the SS Arctic, including Maria Miller, Grace, Clara, William B., Herbert, and Grace Alice Jane. The family patriarch, James Brown, was actually one of the main investors in the Collins line of ships. The plot has markers for over 70 burials, it's a Victorian-era monument that was designed by John M. Moffat. You can see a depiction of the SS Arctic sinking in the center. Moffat was no stranger to Greenwood. He also created pieces that live on the gates of the cemetery itself. The silver lining is that the sinking of the SS Arctic caused massive maritime safety reform. The Arctic had only six lifeboats, with space for less than half of the people on board. And though it did inspire new guidelines, of course we see similarities to the disaster that came many years later when the Titanic sank in the early 1900s.